just received a set of these uh, crochet and knitting tension rings. I got them on Amazon. It came with eight in a pack. And I also want to talk about my 3D printed version. Um, but I was trying to get back into um, doing this crochet opera bag. It's a free book you can download on the antique pattern library.org and getting to tension uh, this number 10 crochet cotton was getting kind of painful for me and also dealing with these little skinny hooks so I uh, wrapped a, a couple of my crochet hooks with uh, polymer clay and baked them and, and this really feels good in my hand so it's eliminated the pain in my right hand but I was struggling with the tension in my left hand I was having to wrap around more than one finger just to get the tension that I needed and um, so I when I started looking on YouTube and places what other people were doing for tension I found out that these somebody had made these rings and then I realized I already had a 3d printed one that I had made for my uh, shuttle tatting and there's some critics on the tatting groups that says oh you just need to learn the traditional way of holding the thread blah 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 but if your hands are hurting and you want to try the craft or you want to do the things you love you might as well use gadgets that will help you do it without pain so I came up with this version and I had no idea they already had these out there they probably been out for a while I just didn't do any research and because I was doing tatting I wasn't researching crochet or knitting or anything like that but this one works really well for me and I'll show that one in a minute but <clears throat> these came with two different versions they're in a bunch of different colors and this one has a little gap in there and it's a continuous ring this version has a little split they do seem a little fragile to me I haven't tried to adjust them very much but this one is fused here in the middle and this one I like and this one that's the swirly one that continues around I do not like it and I'll show you the reason why so let's start with this one and I'll try to find one that's a little tight on my finger there most of them are a little bit too big so if I do it the way I like to crochet I have to come between there to get it into the head of the peacock. I don't get much tension like that. Let me get him out of there. So if I come in front of my finger and around the tail like I've seen others do on YouTube and it slips down below the ring and then it only hooks into the peacock head and it does want to swivel which I do get some tension even though it's down at the bottom of my finger. I just doesn't feel right to me and it's pretty loose tension so I played with this one enough to know that it's going to take too much getting used to too much to try to maneuver it to make it work for me so I don't like that one at all this one works really well because it the thread won't slip between and you, I'm sure you can tighten this enough for your finger I don't know there's one I adjusted I don't know if this is the one and then you just get your thread the way you want it and I'm just wrapping it once around my pinky and then under the tail and then over the top and through the head of the peacock and this has given me really good tension and I'm not straining with my left hand to mess with it and if I need more thread all I have to do is lift my index finger and if it's too much slack I can just reach back there and tighten everything back up so I like this one a lot so I would recommend this one I do not recommend the one that goes all the way around now if this one if the tail kind of turned out the other way then you might be able to um, tension it better and grab a hold of the tail without it slipping between there are some holes in there but you'd have to have your thread in there ahead of time for it to work that way so I don't I don't know I don't know if there's any any way that I'm going to use that one because I don't want to put my thread through those holes so the one that I 3d printed works pretty much like the 
the peacock that that I do like. I have one side bigger than the other. I made these to fit my finger, and in, in my Thingiverse file, I, uh, I have several different size diameters that you can download if you have a 3D printer or if you know someone that has one. So this one, I use it just like the, the peacock that I like. And I start out with my normal way of holding the thread, then I hook it in the front one, then I hook it in the back one. And this one actually gives a little bit more tension than these metal rings. And um, so I do like a lot of tension. So again, I've been using this one for um, a few days while I was waiting for these to come in. And I've gotten used to this one, but I'm gonna play around a little bit more with with these others here and see how they go. Um, so I'm going to try to remember to put the Thingiverse files uh, in the description to download uh, if you want to 3D print one. It's in two pieces that are glued together. Uh, I had one that I accidentally turned the hooks in the wrong direction, but that one would probably work for a left-handed person. Just depends on which direction you want the hooks to go. And um, I'll also try to remember to put a link in for this uh, book that you can download from antiquepatternlibrary.org. Just go to, go to their site. There's a lot of stuff you can download. It's really neat uh, vintage stuff. And you can, um, you know, download the patterns or whatever. They are written. They're not in any kind of standard um, pattern, uh, the way they write the pattern. So a lot of it you have to try to figure out what they mean in the pattern, but it's, it's not too bad on this particular pattern.